Samantha Smith with Channel One Action News at noon. Now, we were the first news station to report on the tragic murder of Joanne Desmond. She was an up-and-coming model. She was found inside her then-boyfriend Samuel Wade's apartment on July 17, 2010. And we were the very first news station to wait for the sheriff's deputies to arrest him and lead him away in handcuffs. Now today, we're live at the courthouse steps as Samuel Wade awaits the jury's verdict. Today, the final chapter in this tragic tale will be written. The defendant will please rise. In the case of the murder of Joanne Desmond, the jury finds you, Samuel Wade, not guilty. Order in the court. Order in the court. It's not guilty. Samuel Wade was found not guilty. Now, I know this comes as a complete shock with all of this overwhelming physical evidence, the fingerprints, the sperm, the DNA samples, all of this pointed right back in the direction of Samuel Wade. And now, I hear him. Samuel Wade is coming down the steps. I'm going to go ahead and try to get some comments. Mr. Starr, were you and Mr. Wade surprised at how quickly the jury came back with a not guilty verdict? No, not at all, Samantha. We were very confident that we would easily prove that, you know, Joanne Desmond's murder was not a murder at all, but rather an accident. See, Sam Wade here, he loved Joanne with all of his heart. He would never hurt her. Mr. Wade, how does it feel to walk out a free man? Well, it feels great. I mean, how else should it feel? A free man, okay? I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. And what about Joanne Desmond? Oh, well, Joanne, she, um, she get to sleep, you know, six feet under. <laughs> so there you have it, our justice system at work. Today, Samuel Wade gets to walk out of here a free man while Joanne Desmond is dead and her family is left shattered and broken. To freedom, freedom, man. freedom. I don't know how you keep doing it. I thought you were done for this time. I thought for sure you was gonna be somebody's bitch in jail. But somehow, you keep getting away with it. What can I say, man? I'm blessed. <laughs> that attorney of yours. What's his name, John? Star. John Starr, yeah. Oh. That guy is amazing. And he got away with the people. John is great, man. It's just too damn expensive. <sighs> but he know how to make a jury believe whatever he want them to believe, man. You know, Joanne's like the second or third girl to feel the wrath of Sammy Wade. You remember that sexy stripper in uh, Arizona, right? You know, the one that uh, tried to kick you out of her apartment. Oh, <laughs> I used to remember that. That bitch wore dark sunglasses for two weeks after that. <laughs> man, you gotta lay off the ladies, man. They're getting you in trouble. See, see, there you go, there you go. You worrying too much. I'm worrying. Look, man, I love the ladies. And as you can see, the ladies loving me. Wow. Well, thanks. Um, sweetheart? Sweetheart, can you? What's up, guys? What can I get you? Oh, um, go ahead and get us another shot of scotch on the rocks. All right. All right. And while you're at it, slide this between your titties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have enough money on this guy. Oh, oh, how much you worth, huh? Hey. Five bucks? Huh? Oh, come here. Come here, baby. Hey. Sorry, man. That's what I mean. You just got to... Sorry, we're closed. I'm here for Mr. Wade. Mm, the only dude we got left is that guy over there, and he's been passed out for like an hour now. This is Samuel Wade, and I was sent by Steele to pick him up. Good, because I was just about to kick his ass out and let him spend the night by the dumpsters. I got him. When he wakes up, could you kindly remind him that he is no longer welcome at Dakota's bar? You will never see Mr. Wade again. I guarantee that.
Hello. Sam, honey, why haven't you called me? I miss you so much. Who is this? Sam, honey, I'm sorry I made you so mad. I'm sorry I slapped you. What did you just say? Who is this? You know who it is, Sam. It's me. Julian? <laughs> I don't know. You did. I watched you die. I killed you. You're dead. Hello? Hello? Mr. Wade. <laughs> Who are you? And how do you know my name? Are you okay, Mr. Wade? You look a bit hungover. Look, I don't know you, and I don't know how I got here, but I'm leaving. I just got the phone with a goddamn dead woman. You couldn't have possibly gotten a call here, Mr. Wade. You see, I have your phone right here. And the only other phone in the whole condo is in my room. Not true. I'll prove it to you. Look, the phone is right. <laughs> you see, Mr. Wade, it's just as I've said. There's no phone here. Do you have a drinking problem, Mr. Wade? Do you normally imagine things that... I don't have a there? goddamn drinking problem. I don't imagine anything. I'm... Who are you? <laughs> Relax, Mr. Wade. Let me pour you a drink. My name is Hamilton. I'm an acquaintance of Mr. Steele's. You know, Mr. Wade, when T brought you in here earlier, you were very drunk. And I took the liberty to remove your shoes and tuck you in. I hope you don't mind. Where am I? You're in Mr. Steele's condo. Who is Mr. Steele? Mr. Steele is a friend of your attorney, John Starr. It seems Mr. Starr contacted Mr. Steele regarding your relocation to a new city. Something about a fresh start and all that. Especially given your recent troubles. John never told me nothing about that. Why would he want to relocate me? I'm a free man. You may be free from the law, Mr. Wade, but are you free from your conscience? My conscience is fine. No more questions. You show me the door. I'm afraid I can't do that, Mr. Wade. You see, Mr. Steele is waiting. To hell with Mr. Steele and to hell with you. I'm getting out of here. Now get out of my way. I told you, Joanne, not to go out with another man unless I'm with you. Sam, it was my boss. He was getting me a cup of coffee before the train came. You've got to stop being so jealous. You're the one that I love, and there's no one else. I don't care what you're saying. I don't trust those guys. I see how they look at you. I don't trust them. Look, Sam, all you have to do is listen to me. Stop working at that place. Okay, Sam, I'm tired of this. We've had this argument before. I'm not quitting my job just because of your jealousy issues. I'm going to bed. No, 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 no. You're not going nowhere until I hear you say you're quitting. Sam, you're acting like a child. You're acting like a bitch, Joanne. I'm so tired of you disrespecting me and not trusting me. Get away from me. Don't push me. What's wrong with you? Sam, let me go. You're hurting me. Don't you push me. Let me go. You don't know me. I'm so tired of this. Sam, I'm making you, Sam. Sam, let me go.
Did you miss me? What's wrong? I thought you'd be happy to see me. It's impossible. Lost you die. Mr. Wade, I hear that you've had some trouble lately. Well, all your troubles will be over soon. Look! Here, Mr. Wade. Get me out of here! Get me the hell out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Samuel Wade, the time has come for your final sentence. You can yell for help all you want, but no one will hear you. Guilty. This is a different kind of courtroom, Mr. Wade. This is a courtroom of revenge for those who feel the system has failed them. Now let me introduce you to your jury. You know Hamilton, the man who has been with you in the condo? Well, the thing you didn't know was that he was Joanne's fiance a few years before she met you. They didn't marry, but he never stopped loving her. When you murdered Joanne, you killed any chance Hamilton ever had of winning her back. I don't give a damn who he is. My friends, looking for me. You're all gonna die. I swear, you're all gonna die. You're dead. There comes a time in everyone's life when they must meet their maker and atone for their sins. Your time has come, Mr. Wade. What are you saying? What are you saying? Mr. Hamilton, has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant, Samuel Wade, guilty of murder. You're all crazy. You're all fucking crazy! The jury has spoken. They found you guilty of cruelty, jealousy, and the most damning of all, murder. Unlike Joanne, whose death was quick, you, Samuel Wade, will face death alone in this room in total darkness, without any food or water. This shall be your final sentence. Goodbye, Mr. Wade. You can't do this to me! Oh,